Okay, so I wanted to make a video about the HP ProLiant. Uh, this is the HP ProLiant DL580 Gen 9. And this is my current render server. This has got um, four 8894V4 CPUs in here, 512 gigs of RAM, um, an assortment of hard drives, I'll go into that in a minute, and then um, in the back here, we've got two Radeon uh, 7900 XTXs. Um, these were kind of a toss-up in between these guys and the um, NVIDIA 4090. Um, these fit a little bit better, so I went with them. The 4090 probably still would be have been the better selection as far as rendering goes, but these do a pretty good job, um, and they actually fit in the case. As you can see here, we've got a little bit of space in between the card and the back of the um, tray there. Um, and down here... We've got the new edition, and this is the High Point um, USB C. Uh, this is a 20 gig card, so it's got four 20 gig ports on it. Um, this allows me to ingest footage from um, my CF Express cards in a relatively fast fashion. And then um, if we come down over here, uh, if it'll focus, this guy is the Mellanox 100 gig networking card, and um, just blazingly fast. Um, still struggling with transfer speeds, um, real world transfer speeds. Um, iperf is capable of maxing it out but getting those real world transfer speeds is a lot harder than it seems so um that's kind of where that is right now and then if we come down to the front of the rack we've got I'll pull one of these out here these are two terabyte ssds in a RAID 0 configuration, whereas down at the bottom I've got the um, 1.2 terabyte um, hard drives, and these guys are in a RAID 5 configuration. Um, the RAID 0 is the boot volume, and then the RAID 5 is kind of... Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. It was originally the boot volume, but um, it has been superseded by the SSDs. Um, originally, I was having a lot of issues getting SSDs to uh, recognize on this uh, system, but it seems like if you populate more than one at a time, it works a lot better. So and that gets that going. We'll pull one of these out just to show it. Um, these guys are dual redundant fan arrays. Um, very loud. And if we come down in here, you can kind of see the processor bank down in there. Um, all of it's hot swappable. Um, well... Technically, these, while well, they are hot swappable, are not, um, the fans are independently redundant. So each of these fans has two fan units inside of it. So if one goes out, the other would immediately pick up the slack. If you were to pull an entire unit out like this, where the whole unit was to come out, you would be pulling two of the fan units out. And that would make it very unhappy. Um, and then in the back here, um, this is the power bank. These are four 1200 watt power supplies, um, which provides 
a ton of juice and this server is very thirsty. Um, I've seen close to 2000 watts of draw from this guy. Um, which is pretty, pretty intense. Um, and I really am not even flexing the, um, GPUs that much because finding an application that actually uses both of them is pretty rare. Um, but again, it was, it's an interesting project to work on. It's not necessarily the most efficient or most, um, you know, well optimized way of doing things. It's just kind of getting out there and experiencing it rather than this is min maxing everything. So, uh, this has been kind of an overlook of the HP Pro Liant Gen 9 um, DL580.